Welcome to webdevelopmentschool.com. My name is Stan van der Poel and today we're going to talk about the combination between a form and a table tag. In the previous lessons we've learned a bit about forms and tables and today I want to show you just an example of how you can combine these two. Let me just uh, start off by opening my editor and making the same form as in the course. It was something like this. Let me save that. Examples, example. Yes. I'm going to start my browser. Press Ctrl plus O. It's the short tag, short tag for opening. And now we can see the form we just created. What's your name with an input type? Is text. So we can type something in. And two radio input types, uh, which are uh, which provide us the ability to choose something. Shall we call you? Yes, you may. Well, this form looks quite nice actually, but when the question is a bit larger, do you really want to hurt me? Well, um, when the question is a bit larger, you can see that the inputs are not nice uh, they don't look that nice because uh, here the question stops here and here it goes all the way up to here and if you got uh, some more input types it's gonna look a bit messy so I want to create a table within this form tag to show you the combination of a form and a table for example let me just create a table here Line breaks not necessary anymore because we got a table rows. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Yes, no. Close tag, close table. Okay. What do we got here? We got a form tag opens here. Let me just get my mouse here. The form tag opens here and closes here. And all this HTML is included in the form. Uh, this is a table tag which opens here and closes here. You can see it with the tabs. We got an attribute border with attribute value 1. This means, hey, give all the cells and the border itself a border with thickness 1, 1 pixel. We got a table row, so we announce we're gonna uh, create a row here. We got two cells today. TD, which means table data. And the first cell contains the question, and the second cell contains the input type. Um, the same goes here. The first cell contains the question, and the second cell contains the two radio but buttons uh, which represent the answer. Um, so, how does this look? Quite nice. And if we just multiply these questions, you can see it looks a bit more neat. So uh, I'm going to leave it to this. There was uh, a quick example of a combination between a table and a form tag. Uh, this is webdevelopmentschool.com. My name is Tom van der Poel, and I hope to see you soon again at our website.